So if you don't want to make a fancy trailer tester like this one, there's a cheap, easy way to do it also. You could just put together a plug with wires on it. So, you can just hook your hot wire to which light you're trying to turn on. Make sure the negative's hooked up. And that's all you really need. I mean, if you're checking, you know, working on trailers every day, it's much better to have some kind of box like that than to do this. Uh, this is much faster, but this will work. This will get you by. The important thing is that you put a fuse in it. So I use a 20 amp when I'm doing the brake lines and then you can go probably a 5 amp when you're checking the uh, light circuits. So if you just want a simple, cheap way to test the trailer's plug, you just make up a plug like this with wires on the end. And on this particular instance, this would be more for like a, an RV, a travel trailer, to where you have a battery hooked up to it. So you have your charge line here, and then you can just go through and connect your wire. So this is actually a dual light. So that's tail markers and that's tail markers. The big thing is that, um, for me, is that you put a fuse in it. So you can go a smaller fuse, like when you're testing the lights, do something like a, a five amp fuse. I've got a 20 here, so if you wanna test the, uh, the brakes, which I have a uh, bunch of brake magnets inside that box here. That's my tester box, you could that and then you can do an amp meter on it to see if they work electrically so it's not going to tell you if they work mechanically but you will know if they are working electrically so then you can just go through and test each one of those don't hook to the white one that'll be a direct short and then if you have backups on there, you can test your backups too. So that's a cheap way to, to check your lights. If you have a different plug, just use a different plug. If you have a six-way or a four-way. If you're not using a travel trailer, then you would have to supply the hot and ground in a different way. Well, if you don't have a battery or a charge line supplied on your trainer, you can do a couple of different things. Uh, if you have one of these jump packs, then take one of this style plugs with one of these jumpers. Then you can actually get a little pigtail like this. And I'll plug into that jump pack, and that'll supply your power. You can just put ends on that and extend it. I have these batteries. This one's a, uh, that's the one I've been using. And then you can just connect that up. Gonna do your negative through your white wire. And your positive side, you can just go through and test your lights. So it can go through your lights just like so. Test them just like that. So these are pretty easy to wire up. Um, I have all the different color wires, but you can buy a little piece of seven-way wire. Some RV places sell it. You can see in here that this is got words on there corresponding to the color wire that needs to be hooked up for that. So you just you can see you can just screw them on. 
set screws here on each side. For disconnects, males or females. I just chose mine this way. So you have a disconnect that you can just hook up like so. so once again, the important part is to. have a fuse in there in case you have a short you're not going to melt all the wires in the trailer to blow the fuse before that happens this is a little diagram describing the color code for the flat seven way it's on your typical travel trailer black is your 12 volt positive browns your right turn blue is your brake White is your negative, red is your left turn, and green is your marker lights, and yellow, if you have it, would be your reverse lights. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.